Up December 22nd, like I said, is very um, critical time because uh, what is unique about Orion is that on the winter solstice, usually on December 22nd, the sun exactly intersects this gate. Orion intersect this gate. Interesting, but the sun is actually in um, in the golden gate. In uh, I don't know why he said it's Orion. It's Ophiuchus. The twenty second is um, the golden gate. He, I think he mixed up. Uh, only twice per year the sun. Solstices will have the shortest and largest span of light for the day. Orion is south of the Silver Gate and has one of his arms extended up to this gate in the section. Uh, the sun is in what's that called? Is in Golden Gate, not Silver Gate, on twenty second, December twenty second. Interesting. I don't know why he said that, but anyway. So let's take a look, like how he uh, dissects the Orion constellation. It is a depiction of a light bearer. Orion's depiction does has a torch on his hand, corresponding to when the sun literally intersects this silver gate of man. In biblical interpret interpretations, Orion is a depiction of Jesus Christ at his first and second coming. This will be when the overcomer comes in the bright radiance of his light that will destroy his enemies at his appearing. Esoterically, many attribute this imagery as a depiction of Lucifer, on one hand, that sorts and seeks to illuminate, illuminate and grant humanity the forbidden secrets of heaven's fire, eternal life of immortality, and sacred rites. At the golden gate of God, there is Ophiuchus. And then he said, the sun is in Ophiuchus. Intersect that. Uh, golden Gate in Ophiuchus. It's not in Ophiuchus. Below Ophiuchus is at his leg. I think his right leg. Uh, on the summer solstice. So he took exactly reversed the the location and the time. As above, so below. On one level, the Bible attributes. Jesus to being the creator and knows the end from the beginning. Orion is the end as much as Ophiuchus is the beginning of the cosmos. In a biblical interpret interpretation, Jesus was able to declare himself the Alpha and Omega. This is the duality of the risen Jesus Christ, the true light of the world. Jesus came to overcome the false light bearer, Lucifer, along with sin and its consequences of eternal death and separation from the Creator Yahweh. When one studies the esoteric knowledge of the ancients in tandem to the Bible, one quickly realizes that there is present the concept of a duality of being and law, of opposites clearly operating in the laws of the universe. As ancient civilizations know of such knowledge, they attributed such an understanding to beings, fallen angels, that in some cases divulged such information to humanity. Many monuments throughout the world have been built to correspond to these two gates and their corresponding colors. For example, the most prominent landmark in San Francisco would be East Golden Gate Bridge that acts as a gate to the city and nation for that matter. 
um, its corresponding silver gate is that situated in New York um, with the Brooklyn Bridge that is silver in color and completes the symmetry and nooks of the um, nation. This pattern is also seen in Europe with a similar pattern of Lisbon, having a golden gate color bridge and Istanbul having a silver colored bridge spanning the Bosporus as the silver gate. This esoteric principle is in keeping with the as above so below mantra of the ancient knowledge. The rulers of this fallen world, which is Satan, seek to tap into such cosmic energies. These nodes are portals, gates that go beyond the physical, but the supernatural that involves the spiritual dimensions that are disclosed in the Bible. For example, this principle of a door or gate entry and an exit on earth is seen in the dimensions of paradise study where the golden gate corresponds to the pillars of Hercules in Spain and so forth you know the back door would be the street of Hermos etc so you know they have all those um, nooks through the ley lines you know um, there are many portals in this world and it different portals and different energies um, the level of the importance too so and um, this order in is heavenly that North America bridge gates as well as on Europe itself follow a beginning and end pattern this pattern is also seen in Jerusalem where there is a golden gate on the Temple Mount. It was this gate that Jesus entered on a donkey. Corresponding to the opposite side is the silver gate by the Tower of David. Okay, so the Great Pyramid with coordinates to Orion. Not only Orion, a couple of different constellations Orion and then Sirius and then a um, couple more and so in one case where the soul of the Pharaoh would ascend through the silver gate that corresponds to the gate of man near Orion that many consider is a gate to heaven there is where humans would enter the realm of mortality on earth and at the point of death that is separation of the body from the soul and spirit would enter heaven by way of the golden gate by way of golden gate by way of silver gate huh. it's silver gate because the man die and then go to heaven through the silver gate the golden gate is when an angels coming to earth or something. Uh, uh, um, I don't remember the golden gate. But the silver gate is when men die, they go up through silver gate. He makes mistake here again. And also Pharaoh is not a man, it's not human. So basically like any being, any animals, any beings die, the spirit go through to heaven. So spirit go to heaven through silver gate. That what they meant. That is what they meant. Pharaoh is a hybrid. It's a um, it's a lephanum. So and um, but I don't think lephanum die. The spirit turns into demons anyway. So it just it's a joke. Okay. So then um. Again, uh, I discussed the keys, the golden key and silver keys with you guys before. 
a while ago, I think at like at least a year or, or so. Um, so these two gates are currently symbolized by the golden key and silver key of the shield of the Vatican. And um, biblically speaking, the Gospels do depict Jesus Christ as a door or gate. So only through Jesus we can um, go to heaven and with God. So and then um, the Luciferians believe that they can pierce these gates and portals from earth to invade heaven. This is what CERN is really all about. Lucifer will attempt to scale the gate of heaven one last time before he is thrust, thrust down to the earth. His minions on earth seek to release the titans that are bound to later aid Lucifer in his army against Jesus in a final assault into heaven at the second coming of Jesus. They seek to release or make a jailbreak uh, jail for Apollyon to come up before his time. Such refuse to accept that it will actually be the Lord that will send the angel with the key to open their gate. Yahweh is sovereign and has reversed this fallen ones to be part of the agents to incur the wrath upon the earth as they are let loose from their imprisoned dimension. Uh, in part, this will be the coming deception that will be part of the lie that will be believed. This lie may indeed involve the alien equation of the disclosure that now even the Roman Catholic Church is at the forefront of anticipating their arrival. So the Bible teaches that, on the contrary, these unholy or fallen angels that were led by Lucifer in an attempt to overthrow Yahweh were cast down to the second heaven. This realm is the atmosphere around the earth, the clouds, etc. According to the book of Enoch, there were other fallen angels called the watchers that made a pact to defile themselves and humanity by mingling their seed. Why? It was an attempt to deface the image of Yahweh in humanity out of spite. These are the so-called titans that waged war against the Olympians. The titans were cast into prisons below the earth. This scenario will be repeated. They await to be released in the end of days before finally being cast into the lake of fire. Okay, so and then amazingly the Bible teaches that in heaven there is no matter space or nor time. When one dies the acceleration of time is completed, and one is able to delineate the beginning from the end instantaneously. It's only her earth realm has matter, space, and time anyway. Um, so, because um, time is a prison um, to Satan, you know, it's like, Pretty much to all the corrupted beings, you know. Okay, the Bible states in Second Corinthians sec, uh, two eleven, least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Sadly, the Church of Jesus Christ in these last days 
Church of the of、uh, Jesus Christ in these last days has neglected to teach such schemes of how the enemy works in such realms, which is here. Um. So we are waiting for rapture. The portal will open, which is the gate of heaven will open. Together with the breaking of the seals of judgment, like I don't know, accordingly, right? And then the revealing of the AC, and then by that time will be a time of testing for the world, Israel and Lucifer. Based on the activities of what is transpiring at CERN, it would appear that gates or portals are perhaps being opened in anticipation for the one of the bottomless pit to be opened. So the time of testing is coming. Um, I don't know. Hopefully this week, tonight or tomorrow. Just、uh, fingers crossed.